I'm Crystal Binlaus and I'm a senior associate here at MDRC and I'm the project director for the College Match Program. Now, the College Match Program is an intervention that MDRC and its partners designed and tries to get at the heart of the undermatching issue. We are completing three years of program operations in the Chicago Public Schools and in the fall we will launch a program in the New York City schools. The undermatch problem is a problem where college-ready students are graduating prepared to go on to college, but instead they choose to go to non-selective or less selective colleges where graduation rates are low. So a typical college match student is someone who is low income, who has done very well in high school. They have a GPA of at least a 3.0 and higher. Um, they may be thinking about going to college or they may not. They may not know that college is an option for them. Sometimes some of the students are, have responsibilities at home that prevent them from leaving home, so they have to, sometimes they are the, uh, the interpreter in the household, sometimes they're caring for other siblings or parents, um, sometimes they're working and they're contributing financially. Um, they're low income, they are, oftentimes they're the first in their uh, family who will be going on to college, so they don't have as much information about the process and how to navigate that process. High school counselors are also challenged with a very large caseload, but then they also have a pretty broad set of issues that they're responsible for, so it's very hard for the college advising piece to get as much attention as um, both the students would like and the counselors would like, and the College Match program tries to fill that gap for them. It's really a high-touch intervention where the advisors can focus on students in groups as well as working with them in an individualized fashion. So there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one support trying to decide what's the best academic match as well as what's the best fit in terms of what meets my personal needs, social needs, and my financial needs. We start off with making match the message, which is really trying to encourage those who are encouraging students to cultivate a college-going culture in their schools and to encourage students to aim high to apply to those colleges where they are academically matched, um, where, they should, where their academic profile suggests that they should be able to gain admission. The advisors come, are equipped with a list of colleges. Um, sometimes we call it our match database. On that list, there's a lot of information for students to digest. Um, it's really data that students can interpret, and we find that they're very interested in, in looking at colleges, information about college enrollment, so what does it take to get into that college. But there's also information about retention rates and also about college graduation. We also encourage uh, advisors to reach out to parents early and often so that they make sure that parents and, st and students are on the same page around college going aspirations. Sometimes students are really interested in going to their dream college which is a match college but maybe the financial aid isn't there so sometimes there are hard conversations about what uh, is really possible in a particular family. Uh, applying for financial aid, applying for scholarships, and then taking them from the beginning of the process, just thinking about colleges, what is a match college, all the way through to applying to colleges. So we have a story about a student who um, an advisor was working with, and she kept telling her, really making the point about the importance of retention rates and graduation rates. And so um, she wasn't sure if she was kind of getting through, if that information was getting through, but she overheard that student speaking to one of her friends who was not a college match student. Why are you going there? Have you looked at their graduation rates? So she felt good knowing that the data was getting, it was meaningful to students and they were starting to interpret that information and trying to understand what their chances are of being successful on different campuses. We have a student who um, we know was thinking about being a rapper and he said that was his goal, he was going to be a rapper, and he started working with one of our advisors, and, she, and consistently she said, okay, let's keep looking at your applications, let's make sure we get, um, make sure that you apply to a, a solid set of institutions, and you know, let's think about your rap career as not just being the artist, but maybe you would end up owning the label. So let's think about you going to business school, let's kind of think about the other options around this idea of being a music artist. And so the student has decided, or uh, got into a match college, applied to a set of colleges, got into one, and is going to college. He's the first in his family to go on to college and is very excited about the idea that um, he's college bound when this wasn't something he had been thinking about in his senior year before he met with the college match advisor.